No, no, yeah, uh, everything is permitted. Uh, I just um, had my rough inspections all passed for the mechanicals, the electrical, okay. the, uh, the rough uh, framings, all done, all that. To do better in their business, but I also have to... How you guys doing today? I am going to try to. Uh, I I got two leads off of iSpeed to lead, and I am going to follow up with them. I bought them yesterday. There was a discount code. I I ended up using the discount code, so I got bought them for like twenty dollars each, um, with the coupon code. That was it. So. Um, we're going to see, this is the first time I'll be reaching out to them. We'll see what happens. Um, and we'll go from there. So this first one's in Farmington Hills. Uh, yes. Please leave your message for... Hey, Anthony, this is Randy. I just calling to uh, talk about your property on Elm Grove Street in Farmington Hills. Uh, you you submitted a uh, ticket on Facebook saying that you were interested in selling it. If you can give me a call back, I'd greatly appreciate it. 586-307-4765. Again, 586-307-4765. Okay, so they did not pick up. So that was lead one. Uh, no answer. I will follow up within a couple days, or I will follow up as we go um, and see if I get an answer. So they do, iSpeed Delete does have a 21 day um, return policy. So if I, for some reason, I can't get a hold of them. Um, you know, they, uh, or they don't want to sell anymore, uh, then I, I can get a refund on this. So we will see. Um, that is lead one. And now I'm going to do lead two. Hello. Hi, is Donald there? Yeah, it's Daniel. Hey, my name is Randy. I I'm just calling about your property on Hazelwood Street. You submitted a, a, a mm -hmm. thing online. Yeah. yeah, I changed my mind. I'm keep my mind. Oh, you changed your mind? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you have any other properties you might be interested in selling? No, just the only one. Oh, okay. Is there? I j just so I know, is there a reason you changed your mind or? Or anything like that? Well, my um, credit score doesn't qualify me to get the uh, condo I want. So I'm going to have to wait a few minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So All I'm right. Have to wait. Okay, thanks. All right. Well, you have a great day. Thank you. You too. Bye. Okay, so he changed his mind. So that one, we're going to have to get a refund on that one. So changed his mind. Sale. So I will have to go in here and reach out about the return policy, but they do give a 21 day return policy. We'll see how this goes. Um, I'm going to continue to follow up with this one in Farmington Hills. Let me try a call them again and go from there. Let me. Let me try again. Anthony Harris. 
Hey, Anthony, how's it going? Good, how's it going? I'm doing good, doing good. Hey, I was just kind of following up with you about your property in, on uh, Elm Grove. You said you were looking yeah. to sell it? Yes. Awesome. So do you got a couple minutes to talk? Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, I'm in uh, Illinois right now working, but I'm, I got a minute. Okay, awesome. So uh, tell me a little bit about what's going on with the property, and uh, is it vacant? Um, yeah, it's vacant. It's a uh, new, a new construction, new build. Okay, awesome. So it's a new construction, new build. You said. Yeah. Okay. So did you just not finish it, or is it? Uh, uh, it's not finished yet. I mean, okay. I plan. I'm. It's, it's in the where. I mean, it's in the finished. It's almost there. I got to put the uh, insulation, drywall, and then finishes. Okay. Uh, when but do you? All the when do you, the majority of it. Yeah, sure. When do you plan on finishing it? Was it uh, in a Probably couple August. months? Yeah, it's just a flip house that I'm working on on the side. It's not my like everyday, you know, job. I can only I can only get it get at it when I get you know I'm not working on my other projects. Right now, did you did you uh, build this from scratch or is this a, like a flip that you did? Oh, uh, it's a flip, but it's a, I mean it's basically you know there was one wall and and the roof uh most mm -hmm. of the roof from the um kitchen living room dining room area is original okay. and then there's a three 32 by 32 addition and a 24 by 24 garage attached oh okay so and then the original the original is uh 24 by 30. so did you did you extend the square footage of the house? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's 1,800 square feet. Okay. Not counting the, that's, that's without counting the garage. Yeah, because what I'm looking up here, it says it's only 713 square feet. And it's yeah, I added a thousand, over 1,000 square feet to it. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, yeah. I mean, what, what made you start this process just to fix and flip it, or is it just to live in it and you just change your mind? No. Like, no, I was gonna fix it and flip it. Okay. Okay. Awesome. And so are if you... I don't have to go through like all the headache with the realtor and people looking yeah. at it and blah, blah blah blah. I'm just like somebody wants to buy it for what I got into it, it make a couple bucks, I'm happy. Oh, okay. So um, you know so tell me a little bit tell me about how much you wanna get for the property. Uh I have Right now, to date, two hundred and sixty thousand into it. So anything like two seventy-five, I would be happy with. Okay, about two hundred and seventy k. Yeah, realtors told me uh, when it's finished. I mean, then there's really not that left. I mean, it's just uh, drywall paint and flooring, maybe uh, to, to finish it, and um, probably. It would probably sell for like three fifty and up in that area. Okay. I sold one right across the street uh, a year ago. Mm -hmm. I bought it for eighty eight and I sold it for two twenty. Okay. And then I just used that money and bought the property and and used that money and invested it. Got it. Okay. So. Uh... So what, what, and you said it's about 1,800 square feet right now? Yeah, that's not counting the garage. Right. We can't really count the garage right. for the living right, square right. footage. So right. um, I'm yeah. just, I'm just going yeah, right. by that because, and how many bedrooms is that right now? Three bedrooms, two and a half bath. Okay. Um, just because what I'm looking up right now obviously does not count because you've changed it all. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so my, I guess my I can send you a picture. I can send you a picture of uh, the exterior of it. Um, okay. If you, if you want. Yeah. That's I mean, all I have right now. I, I have more pictures, but right now I'm just like, I don't want to go through them all. Blah blah blah. I get to just send you. You can you can definitely see what was the exterior is finished. Right. Okay. And so, are you looking to finish it and then sell it, or are you looking to just, uh, it don't just matter sell to me. it the I mean, way it is. It can sell it the way it is, or I can just keep working on it, you know. Okay. Then, you know, 
whatever. It don't matter to me. On to the next one. Got it. Okay. So do you? Yeah. How how often do you do this? I mean, it sounds like you got a day job and and you just oh, do this on the side. Yeah, right? I'm a I'm a yeah I'm a DC, and um, I just go around. I basically people hire me to do whatever, and I find people to do it. And yeah, sometimes I use. I wonder if I can get my own guys on it. I I have like four or five guys that are always working with me. Okay. And uh, you know, whenever we're not like working nine to five, I could jump on that and get get a bunch done. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, kind of, have you taken out the permits for this and things like that? I just want to make sure because the, 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 when you add square footage like this in order for it to be all be counted, like the, it just has to be permitted and all that. So that's the reason why I (laughs) asked. No, no, yeah, uh, everything is permitted. Uh, I just um, had my rough inspections all passed for the mechanicals, the electrical, the uh, the rough uh, framings, all done, all that. Okay. And did you replace the roof, the roof as well? Oh yeah, brand new. Yeah, all new roof, everything. Okay. And then you have siding, all of it. Does this back. have a Does this have a basement or a crawl? It's on it's on a uh, it's on a slab, but oh. it's uh it's got a it's got eighteen inch uh crawl. Uh okay, on a slab with an eighteen inch crawl. Yeah. Okay, so is the yeah, new the, the, is the, the new floor, addition the, is the new addition on the crawl or on the slab? Uh, the new addition is on the slab, but it, I mean it's all got eighteen inch um uh, underneath. Oh okay. Uh, so, so yeah. the the crawl goes across the new addition as well. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So, what I can do is because I'm not getting good comps here, but what I want to do is is I want to set up. I you know if this was normal standard and I can look everything up no problem. Yeah. I uh, then I I I look at giving you an offer right now. The problem okay. I have is is that is because you made so many changes and the condition it's in, I I just right. gotta lay eyes on, lay eyes on it, you know. So oh yeah, no problem. It's, yeah. it's open. Um, like I said, I'm in Illinois right now. Anybody can drive by there and check it out. The is is it on a lockbox? Uh, uh, yeah. Well, no, the keys is right next to the front door. Okay. Um, they're, they're, that place is super safe, man. I've already had the cops called on me three times. On there and work getting my own equipment. Oh wow! I didn't even make I didn't even make it out of the driveway. Cops were waiting for me. Like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm getting my tools out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> no, neighbors called. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So what I can do, yeah. what I'll do is I'll make sure. Hey, I so I just want to confirm the address. Yes. Elm Grove. Okay. So that that's awesome. Uh, so what I'll do is I will shoot over there, um, and I can I'll do a walkthrough through the property. Um, yeah. I can't promise you I can come to your two seventy five, but what I can oh, do, great. you know, like I, said, I, I mean, I'm not gonna sell for less than two sixty. So. Got it. No, I mean, hey, I, yeah. I completely understand that. So I yeah, when, I got too much time and yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I, that's my break even, and like you, like I said, I. Even if I break even, get out of it, I, it don't matter to me. I got so many projects going on. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. But right. you know, I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna make money on it. Okay. Okay. So. So I'm not, not worried about that. Yeah. So the reason why I say that is just because, like, a, because because we can give you different options whether you finish it or you don't finish it. We take it as right. is, you know, and then take over the work, things like that. So. Oh, um, cool. Yeah. You know, so like, yeah, we, check it out. You'll love the property. The property is so awesome. It's like so secluded. Okay. Like, it's surrounded by bushes and trees. You can't even see the house from the road. It's on a cul de sac. I mean, like, people walk on their dogs. I bought the property just for the, I mean, the. I bought it just for the property. You know, I decided to put some money, good money into it because I know, like, the right. house right behind it was like, there's like every house, there's only the two houses next to it. Yep. Are like three hundred thousand, but the ones like all around it are like half a million. <laughs> yeah. So 
it, it's yeah. inter- it's it, it's at a dead end street basically and it looks oh like, yeah, yeah. Love so how, no, it's how really big cool. is the Butts lot up to a river over a quarter of an acre about a quarter or of an three acre. quarters i mean three quarters three quarters of an acre okay that's a pretty yeah. big lot so, yeah and it butts up to the river too so there's a lot more like you know there's a lot more space that's i mean it's state land but you know it doesn't butt up to somebody's backyard yeah that's uh like Ridge, uh, rouge river is kind of where yep. it backs up to I'm, I'm just looking at aerial yep. view of it so yeah um yeah that's yeah, like cool. i said it's, it's an awesome property there's deer everywhere i mean it's super a, a deer gave uh, birth to a baby right in the front yard two weeks ago right so, so i i do have a question like um do you need the money for this project to go to the next project or anything like that yeah okay pretty much i just like i said i'll be on to the next one i ain't paying no capital gains yeah so that's the reason why i ask is because sometimes we can uh you know maybe either come up we, we can make things a little bit better a little bit sweeter when we do like a seller finance or anything like that so do you have a mortgage on the property no or like i don't free and clear. free and clear okay so we could do like something like a seller finance tax. or something like that i think you know? i owe like 1400 on property property tax okay that's not a bad you know yeah so um, so that, yeah, I mean, it's something we can do where you can explore all options, you know, once I take a look at the property and, and go from there. All right. Okay, cool. Uh, when's yeah, let best... me know when you go by there. Yeah. So when's the best time to reach you to call you back? Oh, well, anytime. Anytime? Anytime. Okay. I mean, don't call me in the morning or anything, but yeah. You know, <laughs> oh, man. Hours. That's the best time. <laughs> Come on, you know. <laughs> my wife, my wife doesn't like that when I get calls at one in the morning. Oh, I completely <laughs> understand that. So. <laughs> But uh, what I could do is I so I'll go out there. I'll take a look at it. I'll even take some photos and videos um, for myself. And uh, okay. that's just kind of what I do is, is just so to make sure I'm documenting everything because what oh, I do, yeah. you know. Yeah, dude, trust me, you'll love that. Product. Everybody that goes there, though, they just fall in love with it. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, because what I do is, is I, I try to do all that so that if I I can basically talk to a contractor and say, hey, here's the drop box. Here's everything I want to do. Give me a price. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. And, uh, you know, in the future for projects, if you need help with stuff, I'm more than willing to help out. And yeah, I can do, get pretty much anything done for you guys. That's awesome. I'm, I can bid. I can definitely bid. Be another guy to bid for you. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be open to that most definitely. So we, we do a lot of yeah, even projects if you don't around. Anything with, yeah. Even if you don't do anything with the project, you don't just keep my number and I can, help you guys out most definitely so so what i'll do here is like i said my next step will be I, i'll go to the property within the next day or two um okay and then i'll give you a call back and kind of go from there so um, all right all right i gotta go i'll talk to you thank you have a great day all right. Bye. All right. that right there was awesome i got the price whether i get the whether we close on it or not that's irrelevant. This property went from a two bedroom, one bath, 719 square feet home, has a lot of land, uh, to an 1800 square feet in addition he's doing on. when he. I was worried when he said it was a new build. I'm like, eh, is it a new build or is it a flip? I don't know. So I had to kind of go that route and try to figure that out. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to go take a look at this property. I'm going to see, I, I'm going to take some photos. I'm going to take some video and things like that. Um, I may even bring a buyer with me to be honest. So, uh, I, I, one of my trusted buyers just to see where he would be at and, uh, kind of go from there. Um, I need to run comps based on the actual square footage. I, he said it would be around 1800 square feet. We'll see. We'll see how that is. Um, the fact that it doesn't have a basement hinders it, but it, the fact that it has a garage helps. So, uh, especially in that area. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to get to some more follow-ups, but at least for this one, these were the two leads. Oh, by the way, when I called him the second time, he was actually calling me back. So 
So I had to hang up and then and then answer his call. So um, that's that's kind of how that interaction went. Uh, I know you guys probably missed that a little bit. I uh, so and yeah, we will keep following up on this. But this was my first I speed to lead calls. Um, I got two of them. I got a sale. It was they were twenty dollars each. They were normally like almost like one hundred and fifty bucks. But a Sunday sale coupon code came out where I ended up getting them for 20 bucks each. And uh, we'll see how that goes. One of them, they changed their mind and didn't want to. The other one, as you just heard. So, yeah. Let's do it. Let's all do deals together. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to call this seller back. Uh, his name's Anthony. Um, and we will see if he answers uh, to talk about his house. I went by and looked at it. I uh, it it's still f in the framing stages. Uh, part of it, and then part of it is a little bit finished. So um, we're not going to be able to make the number he wants. So let's make this call. Please leave your message for. Hey, Anthony, this is Randy. Um, talked with you the other day about your property um, on Elm Grove. Uh, give me a call back when you get a chance. 586-307-4765. Again, 586-307-4765. All right, so I got his voicemail. If he calls back, I'll come back on and say something. We'll see. Hey, everyone. Uh, so Anthony actually called me back. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to record it. Um, I was in the middle of driving when he was able to call me back. Um, but essentially, I gave him the recommendation of he needs to finish the project. He wants way too much. He would lose money uh, if he went with me as his buyer because I need it in the ones and he needs like, I think he said it was 260. He wasn't going below. The ARV for that property was only 350. So there's not much room that we could do. Uh, it was down to the studs. So uh, when I went and looked at that property, uh, there was only a, uh, a small portion of it that was finished and it just wasn't going to happen. So just goes to show you can't win them all. We're going to try. We're going to keep going. Um, we're going to try to keep some of these. Uh, we're going to try to keep at some of these paper leads uh, on speed. I speed lead. Uh, and kind of go from there. So uh, with that being said, hopefully the next one works out. You never know. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. Damn, what a hell of a view. I feel